go. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, guys, welcome back. Uh, Joe and Kevin here. Hello. Uh, we're doing another episode of Crazy Ex Girlfriend here. Yeah, we're getting closer to the end of the first <laughs> season. We keep forgetting how long it is. Like, are we at the yeah. finale yet? No. Our, our viewers have let us know it is 18, and now we have it locked in our brains yeah. finally. 18 we're, episodes on the season. Juggling lots of shows, we're always like, ah, is this the is this end? A, is this a 24 or is this a 10 one? Because those <laughs> seem to be the only two numbers, and this show is neither. Yeah. Uh, I did notice that, so this is called Josh and I Go to Los Angeles. Yeah. For every episode we've had, especially like the last four, episodes josh has josh has realized that rebecca's kind of crazy yeah, yeah and um he's still just you know doing stuff with her <laughs> you know it's true he can't learn or maybe he doesn't want to learn sure he, he wants to he wants to be uh give rebecca the benefit of the doubt i feel like well and, and remember we left off on josh being part of a class action lawsuit uh <laughs> against his his landlord that's going to pay him like ten thousand dollars which is not a small amount of it's money not at all. that's that sentence alone she, yeah she put together a class action lawsuit so she could hang out with her with the, with the guy of her dreams you know what i that's guess awesome. good for you <laughs> girlfriend seek help um these scenarios just keep getting crazier and crazier and it's so funny and for those of you who've been watching um people have mistakenly on ted lasso think that joe and i are anti-therapy but those of you who've been watching crazy girlfriend know we are very pro therapy i know when, when kevin told me that i was like are, they, like, are you being serious i was like, like, like seriously yes. people people think we hate therapists and i feel like every on a, show every we're like, show oh, we're like yeah. you need a good therapist in your life yeah and, uh, if you, for those of you uh, that want to know like what our issue is with the therapist and Ted Lasso, you can go watch the video. Yeah. But it wasn't anything like crazy. No, we just didn't like the the, the person, the therapist's yeah. personality off the clock. Right? Yeah, exa <laughs> yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, but anyway, back to this. Um, I'm assuming they're going to Los Angeles as part of the lawsuit, right? To to visit with the company they're suing, the sure. the overlords who were stealing the water from West Covina. Yeah, a little continuation from the last one. Yeah, we are we're definitely in uh, Chinatown territory oh uh, yeah. on this one with uh, water being yeah, stolen. Forget it, Josh. It's Chinatown. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, before we get the ball rolling on this one, guys, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, we'd love that. And uh, if you want to click the link down below in the description area, uh, that's linked to our Patreon. Where's my where hair? Oh, there. there it is. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> I can't see myself. I, I, I'm bad at the mirror game. <laughs> uh, but on Patreon, guys, we are four episodes ahead on West Wing, mm -hmm. Ted Lasso. We're in the middle of doing Mad Men right now as well. So you guys will be four weeks ahead of everybody else. And we'll eventually get to Crazy Ex-Girlfriend as well to where we're four Betcha. episodes ahead over on Patreon in the next couple weeks here. Eventually, sweet buns, we will. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. uh, we're also doing a Patreon-exclusive succession. Yep. Which we're almost done with the first uh, season. Yeah, we're, we're shooting uh, episode eight of season one today. And I'm yep. not sure if that's finale because as you've seen from this video I, we have no idea we get a juggle I, th I think the first season goes to 10 but one of the uh, later seasons is like 8 or something okay like okay so. Uh, yeah so we're getting towards the end of season 1 over there on Succession which is a really really good show with a strong oh, yeah. cast we do want to welcome one new Patreon subscriber of the last day uh, Larissa Ramos thank you and welcome we really do appreciate thank it thank you absolutely yeah, yeah. Trent how did we forget about this this is the no right we have, yeah we forgot about the things. we're watching 6 other shows is yeah. how we forgot yeah, yeah. We are right where we left off. But then your friend called, and so here I am. He's playing along. I'm not your boyfriend. Oh. Okay. Oh. Is he a creep or a nice guy? I don't know. I think it, you don't do that if you're a normal guy. You're also super lucky, Rebecca. Like, you yeah. You failed yourself out of that one. Yeah. I think Trent just saved her is what yeah. happened there. Yeah. You kind of owe him dinner. Yeah. But he might be a serial killer. I don't know. Right. He's got... He's got a lampshade made out of human skin in his house. She a great big fat person. <laughs> Together, we're going to blow this case wide open. Why is it him? There's like a hundred plaintiffs. Right. I don't know why people fish in these. You think the sound would scare away the fish. Oh, my God. So you don't get wet. Yeah. It's to stop obsessing about Rebecca. Take some of your own Nothing advice good there. can come of it. This case could be something great, not just for us, but for a lot of people. He's such a nice dude. He is. I, I feel really bad for him. I do. <laughs> I feel really bad. He's pinballing like between two manipulative women. <laughs> yeah. It is kind of nice seeing uh, Rebecca, or, um, Valencia nice. on the back foot like this. Yeah. It's the first time we've seen it. Yeah. Unless you want to kiss again for any reason. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's good of, for these guys. It's kind of adorable. I'm becoming a big Daryl fan on this show. Oh, I mean, yeah. I always was, but I'm rooting for him. I know. I was thinking that maybe I would take you to La City of Los Angeles. Oh, oh Daryl's going to mm. LA, too. Take I it. That happened. You want to get a drink, but just not any place where people we know might yeah. see. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Okay, look. Oh, my God, dude, cool, Daryl. You're not going to go back into the closet. Yeah. Not for anybody. Good. I didn't come out until I was 12. I mean, God, it's insane. It's like the movie Chinatown. There yeah, you know. exactly. Yeah. 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 Love it. 
What? There's a lot of people who haven't seen Chinatown, say? It's which like is one crazy. Of the top ten movies of all time. I agree with that. It's almost sad how well this is working. <laughs> yeah. It's just in her you house. Lock your back patio. <laughs> I'm worried about your security. Oh my god. I love you. Wow. Like a bunch. I have loved you since the moment that I saw you freshman year. This isn't happening. All right. You're not. We're not gonna have a relationship. Is he gonna blackmail her? Yeah. Oh. I don't want to have to go back to your friends and tell them I don't know yep. you. Yep. I would much rather stay here and make you dinner. One person's blackmailing is another person's love story. Who says that? Nobody. Me? Do you like Tarantino? I do. This is like Tarantino. Who what? doesn't like Tarantino? Apartment? Thank you. This guy's fine. I know a million. He's like a like Stepford husband. Person. He's not fine. No. Super rich and creepy. So yeah. But he is kind of like Rebecca. Yeah, he's a Rebecca for sure. Yeah. You sure you want your GF around 24-7? Mm, no. What? Yes, of course. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, Greg, you're not sure about that. Have you ever worked with uh, someone you were dating? Oh, yeah. <laughs> For a while. It's hard to get away from it, isn't Live it? Live with that person, too. Yeah. Oh, see, and it's, I have, too. And it's like, I just need a break from you for mm -hmm. a little bit. It doesn't always work out. No. Let's hear their offer first, okay? Daryl, trust me. They're scared. They're only here to fork over the cash over. Uh, they brought him my old friend yeah. in New York. Oh. oh! Yeah, they're like... And that's the one that got her job. Yeah. That's the one her mom likes. Mm -hmm. She does, doesn't yeah. she? Yeah, she's... Yeah. That is Audra Levine. Audra, Audra Levine. <laughs> God. All these people look like sociopaths. They do. Patrick Bateman-esque. Better be big. There is. No settlement. Oh. oh. What? Oh my god. Rat battle. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Jesus. That was dope. That was. I really liked that, that a lot. That was awesome. It was funny. And they both it carried it off really well, did, too. Yeah. Are you sure you can beat her? Of Don't put that I doubt can. in her brain, Josh. Yeah. Wow. You are really beautiful, and you seem super cool. Uh, thanks. Hook up in yeah, the yeah. stock room in our spare time. <laughs> we, we didn't say that. Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> Bang it out. Yeah. <laughs> He's worn an all things considered NPR apron. What? God. Forgot I was here? Yeah. I don't know you. Does anyone really know anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy people say something yeah. like that. You should chat or what? I believe in you, and that's what matters, right? No. 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 Yeah. <laughs> There you go. I just wish I had that one piece of irrefutable evidence. You will find it. Is Trent gonna find it for her? <laughs> Please forget Trent. Where are the plaintiffs? I wore my bathing we suit. We confirmed 50 people. Traffic wasn't this bad coming in from the east. Yes, that is right. We are gonna win this, big man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. Oh, a person. I came to support you. Oh. Yes, friends, don't worry. I'm not gonna... Grab your junk in public. Lay <laughs> <laughs> <Les> Miz. Yes. <laughs> this must have been so expensive to have all these all these uh, chorus members on the show every week. I know, right? Yeah. What you looking for? Uh oh, wait, I found it. It's that water trial that Rebecca's doing. Being done. Hey, look at that! It's Rebecca on the TV. She's one of our regulars. <laughs> Look! <laughs> <laughs> of the common man being exploited by corporate interests. How can you stand Joshua Chan? That's Josh! <laughs> hey, he's also one of our regulars. He gets his right out of the bottom. <laughs> I told my wife I hate you. What did you do? <laughs> I realized it wasn't her fault. Greg, you see how great our girl's doing? I love this. Not my girl. No Not interested. Heather's going to see the cracks in that armor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big time. You're a witness, Ms. Olivia? Oh my God, a look, few feet away, the careful. scary opposing lawyers coming over now. <laughs> the look of her. It looks like she orders everything on the side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stealing that. Yeah. Great. And how long have you been a diagnosed schizophrenic? Oh, yep. years. Oh my God. We can't lose him. He's most of our case. You go through his evidence. <laughs> no, Trent. Uh uh. These are emails that, that clearly expose a cover up. Trent! Coming in oh clutch. God. Yeah. The two Kennedy cousins made it. <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay, listen. Let's sprinkle <coughs> John Cena in there. Yeah. More than anyone. 
Six months ago, I would have tried this case very differently. And all I can do is hold myself to the same standard of integrity and honesty of the people I represent. I'm gonna continue to fight for them until they receive justice. Jeez. Jeez. Oh my God. I know what's happening. And I don't wanna be your backup plan. That's Good for you, Heather, yeah. A Heather song! Nice. Call back. I love her voice. She, I should say, she's got a really pretty voice. Yeah. Now it's just a weird love triangle between Trent, Josh, it is. and Greg. Heather's out of the way, now it's Trent, Josh, yeah. Trent, Josh and Greg, and it's Rebecca. <laughs> Did a love tetrahedron? Yeah. <laughs> love Pentagon? Yeah. yeah. But I am afraid that Miss Levine and her colleagues have raised sufficient doubts about your evidence. All right, do you think we get a Chinatown reference here? <laughs> yes. Someone says forget it. It has to. Someone's going to say forget it, Rebecca. Everyone, I, uh... I'm sorry. Nice little slow clap there. Yeah. <clears throat> Can people start chanting Rudy, too? Yeah, my God. <laughs> Back to Les Mis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're not mad at me? No, but they're you. you stood up to the bully. You gave them a voice. You beat someone who doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I don't care. Win's a win. I'm so happy. This uh, is what happy feels like. This is what happy feels like. Now Rebecca needs to look back and see what she was before she moved out there. Yeah. Just probably oh, good for her. Wait, wait. He's way out of your league. Nice job. Hey, back off. <laughs> Tom Selleck. He looks like Tom Selleck. <laughs> I think you've uncovered the biggest local story since the City of Bell scandal. And I promise you, we're going to get to the bottom of it. We won't. This should help get you started. You didn't get that from me. I'm sorry. Stop. You were brave. Oh. You're not perfect. I don't know. I wanted you to be proud of me. I didn't know you thought about me that much. Yes, you did. Yeah. Oh, they're getting closer. He's not going to cheat on his girlfriend, though. I did not hey. see that coming at all. Oh no! Yeah. Sorry, Greg. Oh, Greg, I'm sorry. Yeah. Those two in there, they were just meant to be. I don't think I they don't were. You have to see that now. I honestly did not see these two getting together in any way this early in the run of the show, which means they are not staying together. I mean, they, they hinted at it closer and sure. closer and closer. Yeah, yeah. I don't see them getting staying together. No. We got a Trent problem. We've got a girlfriend problem. I wrote you a letter. He keeps it in okay. a Ziploc bag. Well, that's what she had her letter. Oh, she did. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that's a that was so good. You know what? Trent was so weird, but he was so likable. I, I like more, Trent. I want more Trent so bad. It's one of those, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's one of those things where um, I would never want to be in the same room with Trent in no. any way. But uh, it, God, it was entertaining. It, it was so entertaining. <laughs> He wear the same turtleneck. Did he change clothes? He was just staying at her house. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's, that's true. He's just chilling at her house, sleeping at the foot of her bed, making her food, washing his uh, washing his laundry in the sink every day, so he had a nice <laughs> clean turtleneck by the time. It, I I really hope we're not done with Trent. I yeah, it kind of felt like they closed the door on him, like literally. Yeah, uh, but we'll, we'll see. A tr a the guy, I don't know who the actor is. I don't know if I've ever seen him in anything, but he crushed that. He did. He was, like, so charismatic and creepy and, and weird. He was, like, John Cena mixed with Matt Damon. He did look like that, like didn't he? Like a sprinkle of Willem Dafoe. Yeah, you know what I mean? like, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a really good way to describe right, it. Yeah, the whole time I was like, this guy's just got one of those faces. Yeah. I'm a little bummed out we didn't get a Chinatown reference at the end, but whatever. Yeah, know. I was expecting something about Forget It, Rebecca. Yeah, well, forget it, guys. It's, it's West Covina. Yeah, it's West Covina. <laughs> Dang it, yes, the missed opportunity. That was a missed opportunity. Unless they're going to continue I'm glad they finally it. referenced Chinatown, because we were seeing that last episode, yes. right? Yeah. Well, they oddly gave us a Les Mis reference, which I did not see coming in. I didn't either. I loved it, though. Yeah, it was, it was great. Like a revolution BJ idea. BJ yeah. Novak showed up there. <laughs> right, as, a, as an ecstasy dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go back to the old ecstasy lab. Uh, I really... You know what? The one thing that is great, though, when you look at it about her hooking up with Josh now is it really gives the show new directions to go. You know what I mean? It's not the same week in and week out, Rebecca trying to figure out a way to get to Josh. This show has 
every episode. Yeah. It, give you, it gives you a million different directions of which way it could go. I mean, like, yeah. we still have Valencia. We have the Greg situation now. Uh, I think they're kind of moving away from the trend thing like we talked about. But I mean, right. still, like, yeah, like, where is this going to go with Greg and Valencia? Greg and Valencia is going to be a big deal. Yeah. Uh, I, I yeah. honestly, I again, we're in the first season, and I think there's four, right? We're not even done with the first season. No. I would not be surprised if at some point she does date Greg. Or, yes, okay. At some point. I don't know if it's, I, that's I how think it ends or what. There's going to be a situation where Josh fully realizes the truth. Where, like, that this whole thing has been a... She might tell him. That, that she's been manipulating him this whole time. I can see it being like, like they're finally about to date. Like her and Josh are like, right. yeah, we're dating, but I have to tell you something. And then she tells him, he's like, what? You know what I mean? Yeah, and that kind that, of like that, that would show a lot of growth from her, though, if she did. Yeah. Um, because let's face it, she's been largely awful to him. Or the way she's kind of manipulated the situation. That's how she's been awful. For, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's done a she's done a lot of terrible things to try to get with Josh. She's been the worst to Greg, though. Yeah, she's been terrible to Greg. I wouldn't say this is Greg, uh, her fault. When no, 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 Greg, no, no. Because no. he's in a relationship, or he was in a relationship, and then he goes in and he sees that. I mean, that's just bad timing. Well, the thing is, is that she never wanted Greg, and Greg was trying to force Greg on her. You for know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. And, and for as, as good as they would be together, mm -hmm. it's just not meant to be. Right. It, right it, now. It, right now. It, it, it may yeah. be later, but like, like you said, I don't blame Rebecca for where Greg's at right now. No, I don't know. You can't. I mean, obviously the, the thing that she did when they were on their first date where she went up with another guy, come on, man. That is an oh, no, no, no Rebecca moment. Yeah, the, but, the guacamole thing. Right, but, but Greg feeling rejected right now is not on Rebecca no. at this point. I think that's on Greg no, because he's... he waited too long and he's told her like how angry he is with her. He's right. walked out on her. You yeah, know, he's made himself very clear. So I mean, we we've all been there. A guy that has a crush on a girl, but it's never going to happen, right? We've, yeah. we've been there. Um, but uh, no matter how many times you express yourself, or like, yeah, exactly, I, I love you, right? It's exactly. Like, it's just cool. it's just not going to happen. Yeah, we've all been kicked in the teeth like that before. Yeah. Um, and you know what you do, Greg? You stay away from her until you feel better, which will take some time, but you will. Yeah. You that's that's it. Go make amends with Heather, but it looks like she, she no 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 she's way too good. For Heather, Heather Heather is ver being very adult about the whole thing. Heather realizes that she's not the one. I'm way too, yeah, way too badass for you to settle. Exactly. She and she was right. She is. Yeah. She's cool. Heather Heather's might be the healthiest person on this show. Actually, <laughs> Honestly, you know. Yeah. I hope I hope we get to see more of her still. I do too. I hope she's well. She and Rebecca are probably still also, friends. So Josh and Daryl. Right, Josh great. and Daryl is great. That's the that's the unexpected couple the show needs. Exactly, because he looks fantastic. like Tom Selleck. It's like yeah. Tom Selleck. Yeah, that, that, that's the couple that I'm really rooting for on the show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this, I'm bisexual. <laughs> it shouts that in fucking in public. You know, it would be really great if Heather and Josh still or Heather and Greg still end up working together forever on the run of the show. Oh, the bar. she doesn't quit. She doesn't quit. Yeah, she just stays yeah. at the bar with them. They'd be cool friends. Yeah. I think I, I think Heather's mature enough to do it. I don't know about Greg. But. I love the boss there. Kevin's hilarious. Oh, he's amazing, isn't he? She looks like she orders everything on the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Working in the food industry, like, yeah, I get that entirely. That's hilarious. Yeah, I, I, I would, I, I'm really loving where we're going with so many of the supporting characters on this show. But you great. just love to see them. It's fantastic. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Uh, that was a really fun episode of television. I can't wait to see the next one. We'll catch you then. See you guys.